Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about how to run your Allen Bradley PowerFlex 525 drive from the front keypad. And probably more importantly is how to navigate to some of the drive parameters such as your current speed, your commanded speed, the voltage going to your motor, and the amps going to your motor. Because those are very important things, but it's not super intuitive about how to get to them. Although once you do know how, it is very basic. Remember that basic part. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to put them in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. So this is a brand new PowerFlex drive right out of the box. And if we hit the start button, it'll start. We hit the stop button, it'll stop. Also, the commanded speed is by our keypad here. And I'm not going to run it very high because it messes with my microphone. By default, it's showing us the hertz that it's running. So we're running about four hertz right now. But if we press the escape key, it's gonna bring up this B parameter. Now, if you hit the up arrow, it'll actually bring up like the P parameters and you can scroll on up through the T's and the C's. But the most important ones when monitoring these are those B parameters. So B1, is going to be the current drive hertz which we have at 4.2 b2 is going to be the commanded hertz or frequency now right now it's showing the same because we're running but if i hit the stop button here it's going to show 4.2 still because this is our commanded one but if we go back to b1 it's showing zero because that's our actual frequency. So I'll start it back up. And if we go up to three, then we're gonna see our amps. And our amps right now are about 0.16. And if we go up to four, it's gonna show our voltage. And our voltage is showing about 17 volts right now, which y'all are probably like, what? Well, it's because we're running so slow. So you'll have to excuse the mic. Maybe I'll have to mute it here. But we'll just run it wide open here for a second, just so you can see. As it runs up, we're gonna end up around 240 volts. There, we're 229 volts. Now I'm gonna bring that on back down where hopefully you can hear me a little better. And now let's hit the escape button again and let's go to B5. And this is gonna be your bus voltage. So this is based off of your incoming mains. And our bus voltage is 339 volt DC. Then B6 is going to be our drive status. So each one of these is a one or a zero. And the first one is running. So if I hit the stop button, it'll go to zero. If I hit the start button again, it's going to come back on. Also, we'll talk about that third one that just popped up and it goes away. Also, I can hit the reverse button. And now the second one's going to go out because one is forward and zero is backwards. We'll flip that back around. Also, you see that one come on again, that third one, and that means that it's accelerating. And if we hit the stop button, our fourth one's gonna turn on. That means the drive is decelerating. And finally, the last one is our safety active, which we're gonna talk about in more detail in one of our safety videos where we'll actually have this wired to a safety PLC. And instead of going through the rest of them, I'm just going to put a link to the manual. And mainly you'll be looking for page around 78 of chapter three of the manual. Because there's a lot of other good things you can find in this. Mainly probably the biggest one that I probably should hit, but I'm going to hit in a later video, is how to see the input states and the output states. And for some people, they're wanting to monitor like kilowatts, things like that. Those are also in those B parameters. Those B parameters, those basic parameters, those are the things that you do like to see all the time. So if you like this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.